The next topic we'll cover is managing file systems. Now some of the things we'll talk about when we discuss managing file systems is mounting and unmounting file systems, of course, managing swap files, and also looking at disk usage and directory usage. The reason these tasks are so important is you want to be able to manage when file systems are mounted and how they're mounted, as well as unmounting them. You also want to keep track of your swap file and make sure it's a sufficient size and so forth. And speaking of size, you also want to look at disk usage and how much space is being taken up on the disk. This will help you decide whether to enact quotas, for example, on certain directories or disks or users. You also may want to monitor directory usage to make sure that a particular directory has enough space in it. Keep in mind that some directories and some partitions and so forth are mounted under different disks. So you want to make sure you have enough space for these files when they're on these particular partitions and disks. So let's go ahead and take a look at a few commands we use to manage the file system. We're in our FreeBSD virtual machine here. And what I want to do is run a few commands to just to show you a little bit about how we monitor and manage the file system. First command we're going to look at is a very basic command called mount. And this basically shows you what devices are currently mounted. And right now we have the disk AD0 slice 1 partition A which is our boot partition and it's mounted on root the little slash there designates root and then we have the dev FS mounted on slash dev now these are mounted partitions but what other devices what other partitions could be mounted and that is where the FS tab file will comes into play let's go ahead and cat the etsy slash fs tab and it tells us actually what devices are mountable now that doesn't necessarily mean that they are mounted because not all devices are mountable automatically now we can make it so that they are but we may not need to so we see the two devices that we've looked at already ad0 s1b and ad0 s1a we know that the s1a is the boot slice and boot partition it's mounted on root but we also see another device there slash dev slash acd0 that's the cd-rom and it's not mounted right now so what we could do is mount that device and that's actually fairly easy to do we simply type mount and then we type in slash cd-rom and then we might change directories to cd-rom and do an ls and we have the files that are on that CD-ROM. That's basically the installation CD-ROM, by the way, the BSD 7.2 installation CD-ROM. So now that we've mounted a CD-ROM, we can also unmount it if we like. And unmounting a file system is just about as easy. You just type in U-mount. It's not mount, it's U-mount. And we unmount the CD-ROM that way. And we may want to do that when we're changing CD-ROMs out. Some Unixes and some Linuxes are kind of picky about CD-ROMs in that they don't want you to just simply eject them. It depends on how they're configured, so you may want to unmount them first. Now, yet another command we can use to monitor our disks and file systems is the DF command. If we run a DF dash H, we get basically a breakdown of the file systems and how they're laid out on the disk and how much space they've used. For example, AD0S1A, which is our boot partition, it's mounted at root, it's 5.8 gigabytes, and we've used 1 gigabytes, and we have about 4.3 gigabytes available. So we've used about 19% of our capacity. And we also see the dev slash ACD0, the CD-ROM, and it tells us how much space we have and have used on there. DF is very useful in tracking our disk space and monitoring it and make sure that we have enough disk space. Now another command that we can use is the du command. Now whereas the df command looks at the particular file system itself, du looks at directories in particular. For example, we could say du slash home, well, actually let's go du slash home slash bobby, and we can see this taking up about 20k. There's not really much files in there as a matter of fact. Let's do a cd slash home slash bobby and do an ls and we'll see if there's not much in there just a few configuration files now if we go cd and we do cd billy let's look in billy's home directory and we're going to see some other ones but we see a few other files in there too like test.txt we did the du earlier on bobby and we got 20k basically as what's filling up that directory what that directory is using if we do a du on slash home slash billy a little bit more. We've got a little bit more stuff in there. So we want to monitor directories sometimes, like our slash temp and home directories in particular, make sure that they're not filling up the available space that we have. And so we can see which directories are taking up more space than others. So it's just a better way to manage your directories and your file system in terms of space. And one more command I want to point out, and we talked about the swap file very briefly, and that's akin to the paging file in Windows. And sometimes you may want to look at that and just see how it's laid out and what's going on there. And that's the dev AD0S1B slice. And we're using 2 gig 
in swap space. We've got a 2 gig swap file on there. And again, that's just where data would be paged to if you're starting to run out of RAM or you need the RAM for processing. So we might want to watch that sometimes. And if you think your memory is being taken up too much, if you don't have a lot of memory installed, you may want to look at increasing this sometimes, increasing your swap space. But swap info dash H can give you some information on your swap file, obviously. So we've covered a few commands we can use and utilities to basically monitor disk space, disk usage, and mount and unmount file systems and devices. Keep in mind there are many other commands and things out there and utilities that we can use to do this, as well as graphical tools as well.